Zach Stern was great in those three games. He had five hits. And how about a little breaking ball from Ethan Van Bell to start him? Sting in, boys, if I could find it in my notes. But I talked to him before the game, and he said, listen, I watched the family guy. I got inspired, and so. It promotes kids swinging the bat. 100%, ball ball. which is just a little off, although the entire field started to move towards the dugout. 2-2 Two -two to Thornton. On the ground, a third. Jack Surma. Good throw, got him. Nice stretch over there by Max LaForest. He's the first baseman, and a real good inning for Ethan Van Bell. Deal with a really good offense. And Lucas Farner, that's the offense. Little spinner here, really tough play, and no play. You could see off the bat, that was a cue ball. And Brennan Jones had zero chance on that. Oh, that one was in on him. And again, we've seen these pitchers coming in. He had no chance to get out of the way. And trying to score first is Michigan. The next one to Serma. That's one in the hole. Underneath the dive of Jones. Rounding third. He was held. Now he's coming. He'll score. It's one zip to third. Throw to the outfield. Here comes Thorning. And it's 2-0 Michigan. And Ravi, I love it that Michigan pushed things here. Nobody out. Hard hit ball to left field. They sent him home. And then the runner on first went to third. This is how you run the bases. You make the other team make a play. The aggressiveness. You could hear the coaches yelling, not just sending home Thorning, sorry, excuse me, Lucas Farner, but then Thorning getting him to third base and then ultimately scoring because he put the pressure on. Serma's down at second. The next one, and this one is to left. This is going to be a fair ball tailing towards the line. Oh! Catch by Evan Morejan. Now he'll throw to third and sliding in safely. He held on to that a little long, but he was celebrating an unbelievable running catch in left field. Evan Morejan. I love, first of all, this ball is going to tail towards the line, and Evan Morejan stays with this to the point where he dives, leaves his feet, jumps up, almost gets a double play. Talk about knowing where the runner is. His reaction is epic, too, after he makes this throw. He jumps up, fist pumps. Oh, she hit another one. I heard the coach say he didn't hit anybody, and now he's hit two. So Bourne will go to first. Spin on it. Next one to Van Bell. This one is into center field. An RBI single for Van Bell. He does it with two strikes. Another run in. 3-0 Michigan. So I talked to Coach Rick Thorning before the game, and he said, our guys are ready to go. We haven't played a game in five days. These kids are itching to go hit the ball, and we're seeing it in the first inning. Very good start for Michigan. Max LaForce, the first baseman. He's the eighth hitter. <laughs> good pitch on the corner. That's strike three. But they did strike for three in the bottom of the first. To see it come true is pretty special. Brian, you were the last of the boys. I know from a young age you had a nickname. Can you tell the folks at home what that nickname was? Green eggs and ham. <laughs> so he read it to his teammates who were all quiet listening. Can you recite a little green eggs and ham going to break or, or no? 484 batters and one of them has got to hit. One. Unbelievable. His two postseason starts here most recent. Didn't give up a hit. He struck out 30. Good bunt. Actually, a perfect bunt. That's your nine hole hitter. Chauncey Atkins, he's aboard, and Michigan keeps it rolling to start the second. Here's the next one. That's right back up the middle. Could be two. Takes it himself, then throws to first. Zachary Stern. That'll help quell a rally, especially you take the wheels off the bases. Now, father-son, share this Williamsport moment. Good spoil. That's going to be a hit. He outran it. A slow roller, glorified swinging bunt. This one's going to be playable. The left fielder, Morejan, already's made one great catch, and that's a little more routine. This long. For a long time, is right. Tyler Fitzgerald next up. He's going to bunt. This is close. Flip. Got him. What a play by Ethan Van Bell. For a second, I thought he was going to flip with the glove, but he had time to barehand it. He knows better. And making a brilliant defensive play on a great bunt here. I, I love the slide and how quick he gets rid of it. 
on it. Now Zach Stern, and this ball's driven to left field and fairly deep. It'll get nearly to the wall. Zach is in with a double to a rally, perhaps, for Florida. Third. Rears back, fires another one. Check of the third base ump. He went. That was a seven-pitch inning. And, it, and the catcher, guy got hit by a pitch, was asked. That ball is hammered to center field and deep. And just off the wall, it comes ricocheting back towards the infield. Jackson Serva, two for two with a single and now a double. See his team respond. You know they're going to go far in the tournament. Good pitch hey. on the inside corner. Really good location from Frankie Broccoleone, and that's a strikeout. Van Bell had a hard RBI single up the middle, and that hey, one got him on the leg. And another hit batter. That's the third of the game by the Florida pitchers. With honor for the Michigan kids. In the right field and down. Make There's no go, force. Go, Everybody go, advanced. Go, now we're turning. Now the brakes are on, and the throw back is not going to be made. Good job, good job, good baseline. Good really team. good coaching there as he had the big round from Jackson Surma, and you heard him say, "Make him throw, make him throw, make him throw." Outs. That's called strike three. They're going to leave him loaded. Good job by Dylan Thomas. That's it, boys. That's that's a third out. I think we're good. Come on off. We'll leave him loaded, and now we'll get in the field and oh my gosh were these kids happy to be back 3-1 breaking pitch this is a tough play shortstop's going out look out oh off the end of his glove lucas farner would have been better off if Kale or jacob the left or center fielder got a chance to call him off but he was under it van bell who's loving this matchup yeah. and challenging him with three fastballs he was inspired by that first swing like all right let's do this that ball is going to get down in front of the center fielder, Ferkus, and he bobbles it for a second, no advancement. His throw, short hops in. That's a good pickup there by Jackson Surma at third base. 13 on the team. Way outside. Good job. Dylan Thomas spoiled a few and now walks to first to load him up. Got him. He blew it by him and a good pitch. Ethan Van Bell picks up punch out number six. And he did to second, right by the second baseman. Hit too hard for Stern to come up with it. Thornton throws it back in. Cam Thorning reaches back. Double. And this is to third. Difficult play. Branca Leone, though, got that foot back down. Did Preston Sullivan, who lifted it. And then he was able to. Seventh strikeout for Florida today. And the first one for Ferkus. Kid throwing hard. Good luck. Up the middle. Diving stop. No. Lucas Farmer had to go off his glove. Excellent effort by the shortstop. But a hit for Brennan Jones, his first of the day. It's Ryan, the scientist. Back up the middle. Tough hop. Took a bad hop over the glove of Farner. And here is Florida now with two on. John Thornton coming to the plate as the tying run. Here comes a 3-2 to Thornton. Did take okay, some off. That's a walk. He's got him loaded again. On the ground. Tough play at first. He'll flip to the pitcher, Ferkus. And Ethan Van Bell has been outstanding. Get out. Get out. That was not an easy back. play. That ball Take kind of exploded on the second hop. Yeah. He knocked it down, kept it in front of him, and hit the pitcher on the run. Again. Brennan Jones now the pitcher. That's oh way in second. Got him on his foot. So Ferkus is down to first base. Oh. That ball is hammered in the left field. That's the response to the two failed bunts. Coach, bunt this. Right. A lot of room on the inside. And a slow roller to third. Tough hop. We'll go to first. He, he beats is. it out. Quarterback he scramble. He can run to. He can <laughs> run to is right. But you can definitely do you can it. annoy. That's through. That's a big hit. It's going to bring in Ferkus. Here comes Schufelt. He's waved. Throw home. Not in time. Down to third base goes Van Bell. And quickly to second base goes LaForest. A hard hit single right past the drawn in infield. They add two. It's 5 nothing.
Infield's got to be in there, but that's exactly what happens sometimes when you bring the infield in. Maybe a makeable play goes for two runs, and now it's second and third with nobody out. Great base running by the other Michigan guys to move up on the throw to the plate. Yeah, once that got by winter corn on the mound, it was destined ready for a 2-2. Got him swinging on a high strike. Atkins is gone. <laughs> the internet demanded it. Ball four, Farner. Jesse, how many? Got to be aggressive and then pull back. One, two, that's going to get through. That's going to bring in the sixth run. Fair, fair, fair. And everybody else moves up one. RBI for Gavin Eulen, his second hit. It's six to nothing, Michigan. They're finding holes, aren't they? And now you have the hitter up to bat that you didn't want to face with the bases loaded. And take a look at Gavin Eulen and the swing. Pitch up at his chin. Stays on top of it, finds a hole. You continue to swing the bat. Six for 12 today. Will not leave the yard. Left fielder's coming in. Morejan. He will fire home. Here's the throw. A is called safe. Boy, it looked like Lewis lapped the tag on the chest of Max LaForest. We'll take another look at it. Will Wintercorn, the pitcher, already call and put on the headsets. I want a replay. I love it when the kids now know the signal <laughs> to call replays. What do you think, naked eye? I thought he tagged him before he hit the back. I did too. Yes. Yeah, right there. He's out. Great move, though, to be able to get out of the way of the initial tag. I mean, he would have been hosed. It doesn't look like right now Mark Rogers is in. Now, now we're going to get him out of the dugout. <laughs> oh! That one got by, didn't hit him, and another one is going to come across. Three and one on the ground to third to first. Good play. Frankie Brancaleone took it away. Preston Sullivan, he's a strikeout victim. Number one here in the sixth. Some things he likes to clean up, but they had opportunities. I mean, they've had base runners in every inning but one. Game sport. We'll use that as your tryout. Ow. Jack Furness just gets into the game and he gets hit by a pitch. So Fernier goes down to first field, having not played a game for five days. And now they're going to run into a spot where they're not playing a game for a while. That is going to do it. Look like Van Bell's foot may have been off first base. That's what the first base coach is imploring Mark Rogers to take a look at. Let's see if that foot did get the bag, and that will do it.